It was a lot of fun and uh, you kind of get to know the guys throughout the summer um, that were all here and uh, the other guys coming in. I think it was a lot of fun and uh, to end up winning that thing, obviously we all have confidence and uh, it was just a lot of fun and you just got to enjoy it and I think when we're enjoying it, that's when we're playing our best. So just just have to try to have fun with it. What did you take out of your 10 game stint here with the wins last year that uh, you hope to learn from and this season? I think a big part is attention to detail and quickness. I think um, attention to detail to be in the right spots and just kind of have the instincts to be in the right spots at the right time and then quickness is going to be able to get me into the right spots in front of the net up high just wherever the, the seam opens up. So I think that's massive for me and um, I think it was really tough when I was coming in and um, just something that I tried to work on because I knew that's how, that's how to have success. How much did it help you being able to train? Did you train in this area this yeah, summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was phenomenal. We, uh, we have a great group of development staff here. Um, so many of them took so many hours out of their summers to help us day in, day out. Um, we're very lucky to have that here. And, uh, Do you notice it in your eyes? Absolutely. Well, there's so much attention to detail there. And uh, they're doing everything they can to help us out individually. And that, that really means a lot. And we know we can buy in when, when they're there for us every day. Getting that NHL experience, right? Now, I had to help. I mean, you know, ten games. It gives you a little bit of an edge over a lot of these other guys. Yeah. yeah well, I think it's just a lot of motivation. It just like it gets me going. And you want to stay uh, up here? Absolutely. But also, just knowing what I have to do to get better. It's it's very clear. Um, like the certain steps you have to take to uh, to get to the next level, and uh, it's a process. But at the same time, learn to enjoy the grind day in day out because it's there's so much work just to get a little bit better every single day. You talk about like, the fee, but what are some other details that you're more attentive to? Um, no, I, I think just being being confident with the puck. That, that goes a long way and just being able to be confident that you're in the right spot. And when you are, then it's just instincts. And then, then you're enjoying it, you're having fun, you're trying to make plays and you're not worried anymore about where to be. Um, it just, everybody's feeding off each other at that point and that's massive. How about for you preparing for a lot more games than you're used to playing in college, obviously? Um, you just have to focus on recovery. I think that's a big thing. We we did a lot in the summer. Um, we're playing every day, practicing, working out every day. So you learn to take the time of your day to recover and just be ready for the next morning. Like as a scorer, how does, how does the game change when you go from being kind of a big fish in, in that pond to into a whole thing where everyone was the best player on their team? I think every step is kind of like that, whether it's um, your first playing competitive hockey, junior, college. It's all like that, and you just got to adapt. you got to improve. And you got to really focus every day when you go back to the hotel. You're just grinding. You're doing everything you can to uh, put yourself in the right position every day and just learn a lot because it goes by fast and you just have to try to adapt. Are you confident that the skills that you had, the defensive ability that you had in college, can, can translate to the NHL? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, right at the start of junior in college, I had. Um, a tough time trying to get to those positions and trying to find the seams like I was like I was saying and and so it's just trying to adapt that's the biggest thing try to figure out what everybody's tendencies are because you play the best when you're working as a five-man unit out there and that's every single guy being on the same page and that's where people are starting to get into better spots and having success. Have the coaches given you any comparable players to watch in the NHL? Um, well a few a few of the older guys on this team have been told to just watch them and um, a lot of guys have such good work ethics that you just want to match everything they do um, and see what it really takes to, to have success at this level.